Second. Third. Third. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't vote. That's right. Salim Mulvaney. David Bull. Mark Sant. Uh, John Marcolini. Alicia Greco. Boris Black. Um, let's just do this real quick. Um, I sent out the meetings from the last meeting on January 9th. Everybody reviewed them. They're okay. So just initial. And then we have one bill from G. Mello. It's our standard monthly bill from Medical Bill 25. So let's go back and just make a motion and accept the minutes. Oh, sorry. Or is this the minutes? Or the yeah, that's the minutes. minutes of the uh, last meeting of January 9th, accept them as written. I make a motion to accept them. Second. All in favor? All in favor? Anybody opposed? Any abstentions? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, Mark, you, um, you motion. Okay. They dump it once a month. They pick up once a month. Oh, we get a bill once a month. I don't know what they do. I that was something new. Um, I'm sorry, yeah, we'll they did just in the last year of the old rec committee. I, I wasn't involved in that. I wasn't aware of it. Do we need to maintain both uh, dumpsters there, or would it be better just to move it to one? I have no idea what's there. There's two dumpsters now. And what? At this time of year, what what do they get used for? Don't even tell me how salt dries. Um, they're pretty empty, and and I guess the, the bigger question is, do we need them at this point and have them come back? It is nice for the few people that do walk around there if they need to clean something out and drop dog poop or whatever. There's something there. But well, we have a duty calls. The town of Newbury has this duty calls thing down on down on Plum Island that we could see if we could put that there. What's it called? Duty calls. Duty calls. And it supposedly picks up and put the dog duty in it. I think the, the we really only, would seem like we only need those during season. Yeah, the spring and the fall season when the but things are out there. Aren't those fields supposed to be dog free? They are. Okay. Uh, the dog, really the fields point, the fields are dog free. But the but the rest okay. of the area is can, okay. The way the signs read is please keep dogs off the fields. Okay. fields. Okay. People do, a number of people walk their dogs um, around right. to the back. Okay. Okay. Uh, there might be a reminder. Um, the town of Newbury has a pack it in, pack it out bylaw, because that's what we do on Plum Island. Now, does that work on Plum Island? Not really. But, but going back to the, the real question is if we take the dumpsters out, some of the people, so there's some research out there, if you don't have a place for people to dump stuff, they're just going to leave it. Mm -hmm. So if we found a, an alternative... Well, that's what happens on the island. That's why I'm saying. That's why I'm saying. And so the idea is do we... Um, Need to. Do I, I can talk to James and, at DPW and find out what his thoughts are. Maybe we can take remove this expense and have a smaller one. Um, but are there two down there now? There are two now, yes. Yeah, I think that it's reasonable to think that during the winter months we reduce it down to one or a smaller one. Mm -hmm. And then ramp up again. So or even just monitor it. Come... You know the busy season to find out if two are needed. You know what I mean? Right. Okay. But I would, I would think at this time of year, and actually throughout the year, to have one or two of those areas where their uh, defecation, dog defecation, could be placed. The, the duty call things. Yeah, we can ask the town administrator to give us information on the cost of that. Yeah, and I'll, ch I'll check with James about those, mm -hmm. both of us. Great. Where do we want to start? Call something. What's next on the agenda? Uh, we can talk about soccer, we can talk about Memorial Day weekend. Because that's what this meeting was. But do we have, is it on the agenda? No, this is a general agenda. Oh, okay. Just, kind of an well, I, had, yeah, I had two things. 
um, three things. Uh, one was the, the Memorial Day. I thought I mentioned or put an uh, email out that I had a request from the current runner that they were all of a sudden interested in Memorial Day. But I put that out in the past, in the last month or so, since yeah, I thought I brought it up. I, I don't recall that. I don't, okay. I recall you were going to ask them. But you were going to put feelings out mm -hmm. right. for other people to rent. Oh, um, but yeah, but that Memorial Day we, we always thought was kind of the crosses, right? right? And then all of a sudden, it's not surprising because the Memorial Day just happens to be the best time and for, for, for you know the soccer leagues to have a tournament. It just works out that way. Well, yeah, looking at soccer so, and lacrosse. So the conversation last so, weekend, just to bring you up to speed, okay. was, or two weeks ago, was yeah. purely at the time we felt it was better to have somebody rent than no one rent. And okay. that was why the discussion, correct me if I'm wrong, um, yeah. to make things a little more easier on the Kentucky team. But that's not cast in stone. Alright, uh, uh, so anyway, these guys have offered to pay what, what we were, you know, what the price, what we've rented for in the past, plus, um, you know, what it would cost to have um, police, and police, yeah, and I said those are additional costs, I right. said so that's fine. Okay, so that's North Shore United. No, it's uh, cheap, it's cheap, cheap, yes, yes, North Shore. Right. So, uh, that's, awesome. you know, that's a big entity. Uh, they have the money to pay, um, but you know, lacrosse has had it. Lacrosse wants us to lower the price. I, I, you know, it's. Um, not sure what we want to do here. Is lacrosse taking it again? Well, yeah. let, let's get some more background down here. Pentucket had it. Um, there was concerns about their costs. Oh, you had to bring him up to speed on that. That's right. right. Uh, they had been paying five grand for everything. The town last year required them police. In two years past, there was a police, but also fire, and then busing because of uh, parking issues. Parking issue has since been resolved. But it would be an extra almost uh, 2700 on either part, in addition to the 5000 And you know, What people do with their profits is up to them, but they use it as a fundraiser for their high school sports team. Um, so they bought, they wanted to, and th this is happening through many leagues, uh, where towns are asking for more money to support these endeavors. They wanted, they were considering and are considering scaling it back and bringing it up to Pipe State and running a, a, a four, six, per, six team, or six town versus what it is now. It's, I can't remember how many teams are there. Um, they don't make as much money, but it's more controlled costs, more easier to run. And the question became, do we want to leave it vacant? Do we want to find others? People went out and looked. Um, I was going to bring, um, you know, two people approached me about it. One uh, possibility, uh, the other one is not really, I, I would not uh, go so far because they, their schedule is more flexible. In fact, they'd like to come maybe this summer. And the question is how That's a good time. Uh, yeah. Well, certain things you can do summer, like several lacrosse. There's a lot of lacrosse leagues already happening in the mm -hmm. summer, and there's not a lot of time. And, and I'm sure there's a soccer. There are certain times where club soccer just don't have the. Yeah, one school's out. It's, it's pretty much done. You can you run camps and stuff, but to actually get the leagues there to play, because I know you were talking about getting them there for the summer. It's just you just can't do it once once the kids are out of school. They're you know, vacation, summer school, or so that's why Memorial Day really comes up as the big time in the spring. Really, the only time in the spring when you consider the weather. So uh, these guys, um, I think I, if you remember, I wrote that that little thing when I missed it on the on the you know field house, and my idea was this tournament. Sure, yeah. Um, and it's already a big tournament. Um, for uh, in Needham, called the Needham Warden Tournament. Well, these guys, GPS, are gonna have their own tournament. There's really no big tournament on the North Shore, and that's their whole uh, point, is to make that a, a big tournament, which they could easily do, because they have all connections. So mm -hmm. that, that, that field would be used from eight in the morning till 
Is it a two day or a three day tournament? Oh, it's a three day. They take the three days. If you know, if they can get it, they came to me and and they said, could we, you know, basically they know the prize we need. Can we compete for that? And I said I'd bring it to the board. So, so that's where they're at. Um, we know these guys. They they're there in the spring and the fall. They've been good runners, but um, I didn't know the situation was with the cross. He just updated us. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, at the last meeting, looking at that weekend and wanting to maintain a certain level of participation there, the it's It'd be a shame to have that field be idle during Memorial Day weekend, oh, sure. regardless of what activities there, mm -hmm. to its fullest capacity. In in light of that, the decision was made maybe drop down the price, uh, for, particularly for this year, to maintain the uh, uh, Pentucket for running for lacrosse. For lacrosse, so that it still is within that five thousand dollar range that they've been paying. So that would include police and fire. We would take a smaller cut and. And, and not give them the credit that we also right. agreed to give them for the buses last year. Remember, we voted to give them right. the credit. Yeah. yeah well, so that was that them. was in lieu of giving them the credit. The credits off the table. You know, a twenty five hundred dollar fee. But that was just a general discussion. We had not gone back to Pawtucket and talked to them. Uh, every time I you did. Well, no, I haven't talked to them based on your. I had a letter ready to go, but once that came up, I held that back to say. Geez, maybe we have other options. Along that line, um, I had gone out and I had talked to a few people. There was a, one organization that was looking at it. Not ideal. We don't already rent to them, so it'd be a new vendor for us. Um, but they'd rather they're looking at doing something this uh, summer. And they said, let's just focus on the summer and then try to squeeze all this in. What, what kind of a vendor are they? Uh, they vendor, when I say that, a yeah, user. Um, Ultimate Disc. Oh, the Ultimate Frisbee, yeah, that's cool. Disc. Frisbee's yeah, trademark. Oh. Um, um, and I'll get more to that later. But try to use the process, because they knew about Pentucket backing up before it was more common knowledge. So they wanted to put together a, a plan. Um, and I just thought that their numbers would match what we do for, for Pentucket. Um, again. Uh, so to Pentucket, the last time we've had any conversation with them, it was when they came and they wanted the credit, right? And we said we no, would, would, I, I've been it. talking with Tom Smith, he's a new president yeah. and director, trying to work, again, trying to see if we can make something happen. If it, it doesn't fly, it doesn't fly. But the idea is, is town, what, what's your concern? And their concern is, is the, the dollar. They're, mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're telling you. Well, they're not. They're, they're, they're not proud, but. It, it, the idea is they want to continue with this event, whether it's here or there. They're looking at how much profit they want to make for their school. Okay, looking at you know, ways to create more money. This is particularly uh, developed in in light that this information wasn't part of it. Would yeah. it be wrong to ask if Triton is going to do the same? You said Triton Lacrosse was thinking about maybe something in the same weekend. Yeah. They would, they would take the time up um, rather they. Can so do. would we be? As a town, would we be more likely to go to Triton than to Target because it's our town? Or does it matter? Well, or do we concern about the dollar only? I guess that's the other question. It, it's in the old manual, priorities were given to local, yep. um, established our history with an organization. And down, down, that's and, and following yeah. down. That's where the Buddha um, idea is. You know, we don't know who they are. I, I've talked to this person, talked to a number of people. We don't have any reliability with them uh, or history. Um, so that and I got a better chat, a better time spot for them before worlds or nationals. Um, so, what do so, we want? What I, I don't know where to go forward with this. Um, I think 
there's a certain the level people of... you were talking about. Yeah, they were. I mean, they're they're people that you've used before. They're and, current renters. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they're they're so good renters. Groups. Yeah, they're very respectful of the field. Yeah. they've been renting for I don't know seven years now, maybe. Yeah. And they rent in the of course soccer's spring and fall. So, and then we did generate about twenty grand a year. So is our thought to keep Pentucket at a lesser cost just to keep that goodwill going, or is it? to make more money for the rec committee or the town? I mean, how do we look at that? I, I personally, I think we make more money for the town. That's a no-brainer, but that's me talking. I don't know why I think we at wouldn't. some point we have to make money. Now, if, I, now if, if this was a, a unknown entity, then you got to think twice yeah. because you don't. But. So, but my question is, if Pent- so if Pentucket is still in, assuming we don't even have, let's assuming that GPS doesn't want it, Okay, just for a second. Doesn't want the field. Why would they want the field? Just assume that for a second. Okay. And let's just say that nobody wants it and we go back to Kentucky. They're still up in the air whether they want to go to Pipe Save or they want to come here, correct? A lot of it depends on, on the numbers that we brought forth. The, the cost. The so cost. Yeah. And I could, if we were to stay with that, I can go to town uh, tonight, tomorrow, send an email and give them a, 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 a drop down date. Of and then if they don't like the cost, they still. They have another another option. They, they, ha- they have another venue. Yeah. yeah. And then the, the question then becomes: Do we look at um, trying to use lacrosse? And they would want it at the same. What's the what? difference in cost between GPS and trying to use It's two thousand dollars, right? Two because almost three. Because yeah. they're willing to pay five grand plus police plus fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where the other one's five, less than five grand, or we call it five grand total. So. Well, we have no control over what the police and the fire charge, right? Right. So that. That's so but we get, we get an estimate. And that's going to be part of the process. Is we get an estimate, so our users know up front. There's no hidden fees that come in as when it happened. It'll be our responsibility. Don't don't we have a flat, <coughs> flat fee for the usage of the field for that for like. Buy field arts or whatever, a thousand dollars a day, and the only reason we were getting a concession to tuck it was because of the happened last year. That's what I thought. It that started out as five grand. I don't know. I don't know how it started out. I think it just was thrown out there. Do you think it was the weekend? Yeah. It, it is the three weekend. days. Yeah. Yeah. It's most of the uh, all the fields are being utilized and then some. Yeah. Many of got the other events that there's a lot to choose from. Whether it's circus, circus, is part of the field, but and same thing with uh, biofield, music, and arts. But the reality is, the rest of the fields are not utilized because something else is going on. Trying to change some of that model so that we can supplement. Uh, yeah. Plus the um, consideration was with such, you know, the fields are used in a tournament like that from morning till night, three days. So there's a lot of wear and tear, and you figure you want to. Set a price such if you got to go out and do some patchwork. Oh, I see. Yep. Yeah, that does make And sense. I think I've said in past meetings, I know you're new, but did, you know, in the past, when before the town was involved doing that, to get a third party in to do it, they didn't want to talk to you unless you're going to spend two or three grand. You know, it's just not worth it to them. So that was in the past. So you know, now, the we town got, takes care of it now. now we got yeah. Drake James and uh, so. King, King, King James. James. King James, yeah. So, I, you know, well, maybe we should. Reconvene on this when everybody's here and I'm a vote. I don't know. I don't know. How soon proper you, way to. How soon do they want to? Well, let's, let's let's back up for a second. Going back to the repair and maintenance. The thing about the tournaments is, traditionally they go on in weather that we could typically cancel a practice, not in torrential downpour. It would be, it's unsafe and really can kill the fields. Yeah. But the idea is, it's you're you're bringing in teams on the North Shore. And we want to play. Unless there's lightning and thunder, we're going to be having it. I think the lacrosse had one time that it got canceled because of the rain. Well, that's a that's a really good point. In the event of really bad weather, you know, we as a town we can close the fields if we want. Obviously, they have to have backup. They would have backup turf fields. I know these guys would. But because the, the tournament has to go on, people have paid for it. And, yeah, it's too much money to yeah, refund yeah, back. Yeah. Uh, so we don't have to refund that back if there's. 
Uh, you know, I would, I would, whatever con if we do this, that's the way I would write the contract because we don't, we've already agreed, you know, that it's, the state's clearly in our, I, I thought on our Boilermaker contract that there's no refund. Yeah. Right? There's no refund. I didn't know if that was weather related as well. Well, we can well, emphasize. Weather related, weather for an event like that where it just takes place in three days, you got to back up, you got to turf field. But you still go to turf field at light and can't play. That's well, the problem. Right. And just because you have rain on one day doesn't mean you'll have rain on three days. Well, who knows? Yeah, it's, well, knock on wood, it's been more of the experience has been. There's been rainy days season. four years ago. Um, there was rain. It was it was sloppy. It was played out. Um, and that <coughs> and that Monday we we didn't use a lot of times with the Kentucky. It's a two day event with Monday being reserved for a washout. So there's a chance to make up the games. Usually it's a thunder. They've, they've been, I've been told that they would reschedule, so there wouldn't be as many games to get you know, the thunderstorm typically happen in the afternoon. So you just move everything up, yeah. shorter games, and they they make it happen. <laughs> but and, and to the point, that'd be something in our, our agreement to uh, be clear or come up with a reasonable um, uh, agreement. Do we have a written agreement for that? That for it, it says there's no refunds. No. Yeah. That's good enough. Yeah. So but I don't want to handle it. That's fair. Well, let's ask you this. Do you think Detroit News Lacrosse has, I don't say a right to the field, but. Preference? Yeah, I don't know. You'd think, but I, I don't know. I don't know. Do you think they have preference? Well, I. I are they not going to be in the same tournament as? They would participate, but they they're looking to generate their own funds. So this is, this is this all came out because what what Pentucket said, we may not be there. It's like well, we could do something. Yeah, but if Pentucket doesn't do something here in in in, it's, this could be because I don't have kids in these leagues, so I don't know how the leagues run. But if the Pentucket decides well, we don't want to go here and they go to Pipes Pipes Day, if if Triton says, okay, we're going to go here, well, you're going to have these kids split up. You won't have anything on, on either. You'll have half the team. You're going to have competing tournaments. Yeah. 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 Well, that's, you know, if what you look throughout the summer, and, and you can test, there are competing tournaments all summer long with lacrosse. Here's what, here's what I... But are they locally competing? Like within the same area? I can see competing, you know, different... That's so much. That, that's part of, that's a challenge. Would that be... Some of that, that's up to them. If you want to hold a tournament and have six teams and only have it this size, that's that's up to you. Sure, probably. Right? Yeah. And you they give don't us make some, any money, though. That might, and it's, I hate to say it, that's their business plan. No, that's yeah, but then, true. Well, then it comes back to but us, because if they're not making money, we're not making well, money. Right, and then, you know, they won't come. If they can't, if it's not profitable for them, they only have six teams, they break it even. What are they doing it for? Yeah. Here's how I like That's their decision. Yeah. Uh, I, no, I understand that, but I'm just saying that if it was me that I've been on that end of fund, fundraising, you don't do it unless it's something in it for me. Well, here's how, here's how I'd like to handle it, is to write up a simple um, contract, or use the one we have, I don't want to call it a contract, but an agreement, field agreement, uh, give it to, uh, this is what I'd like to do, to do, give it to Stefano, say, you know, this is going to be the price. He's going to be in addition to that. If you want it, commit to it now. Would it be an application? He wants, or would to, be, this is he wants to. Well, I don't know if he needs. You know, we yeah. we know what he's going to do. Because yeah. um, I think he's ready to commit now. He's at, yeah. He called me today and said, "What are you guys meeting about?" I said, "Tonight." He's like, "Great." So yeah, well, they want to get their calendars. They get they, everybody. Everybody, everybody wants stuff. to. Right. Yeah, because they got to start advertising right. for them. Right. Yeah. And they've got to have a field for them. This would be one of many fields, I believe. Uh, but that this, you know, match of fields, it's, that's a lot of space. That's a lot of fields. Plus, you can get the big kids playing, little kids playing, because you've got the small side of fields. So how, how many fields do they need? I, they take up all of it, even if they even if they reline those little fields. Um, I think their their plan is to take up all of it. I can ask them. I you know I didn't ask them for a lot of detail. Okay. I just know they want the facility. 
for that time period. So, so if, if, if our if our interest, I mean, if our interest is to get the place rented, get it committed to, no refunds, we should throw it out to them. Um, I can understand about the concern about Triton soccer. I mean, uh, okay. cross being a Triton team, but uh, you know, they have to pull together a lot. I'm not sure where that leaves us with with dollars or anything. And I'm I, thinking I of the dollars, guys. have some blackout dates where we just have to make revenue to maintain that field. Yeah. I don't, I believe me, I'm a, I, I'm a look. You're a look cross Yeah, I totally understand. You know, I hate to say it. I would, if they could pull together, I, if they could. So it seemed from what people were saying was that Pentucket has it, but they are going to downsize. Maybe. Tri yeah, maybe. And Triton across may fill in because, and again, maybe, because well, Pentucket's leaving. But those are a lot of maybes, and your guys seem like they're, of the people you talk to, seem like Well, they done. certainly seem like if we give them an agreement and I ask for it back within a week, and if we get it, then it's done. And if not, then we know that they're not, but I think they're very serious. Uh, let's go back to Pentucket. If it stays at Manter Field, the expectation is the size and scope of the event would remain approximately the same. Do they take they, all of it? They take all of it. They okay. double up on some of the fields and, and, and they, they run it. The downsizing is on our part to maintain them. So that's a possibility. The other one was the Triton Youth Lacrosse filling in. And again, I hear your point about splitting and who's going to be profitable. That's their business plan. Uh, it's like the planning committee. We can approve things to you build it, but I'm not writing a business plan. If they want to go ahead and give us the money and do what they feel is going to be successful, go for it. And whether it is or not, I'd like to see it succeed. Any any partnership succeed, mm -hmm. but I'm not running for them. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If it's, it's fantastic, great. Good uh, and then we have an established organization who runs tournaments. And I think that's that's one of the things that uh, they, they run, what, eight, nine other tournaments around Massachusetts and, and Southern New Hampshire. This is just part of a bigger issue. I, I would hate to lose lacrosse. Um, but there's a certain level of, you know, if you can't, if you cannot come close to what other people are doing, then, you know, figure out a way to, to compete. Um, the other option, and I don't know the quality of the fields at, uh, at uh, Triton, if we could work with Sean and create something going on down there. That's good, that's... I've mentioned that a lot. I think, and even with lacrosse or soccer or whatever, I mean, there's room for expansion if they're willing to go into something. He's always seemed very uh, open to that, Sean. Uh, so, how many fields is Triton have? Enough to do the. Oh, well, you Kentucky consider all the, not just the new turf field, but all the tons of field space. It, but it's all conditional on weather. Mark, uh, more leaving because it should be fine. Yeah. Uh, the beauty of it is it doesn't. It shouldn't need traffic control as much because it's already built in parking. Yeah, but if they if the town requires it, then then that's on on them. Right, we know that. Yeah. But I'm saying but it's not like you're coming off a main street, Central Street. They still need the uh, right. And I'd argue, oh, you can't have two sets of EMTs because you only really have one vehicle to have them there. Right. Uh, that'd be a question for Nate to figure out. But I sort of the question is, do we say to try uh, the, one of the entities, we're going to work with uh, the high school and put in four fields down there. Can that work for you? Championship game on, on the AstroTurf. AstroTurf is the turf. I don't know. Or do we just say, we got enough on our plate with the field house and stuff? No, I think if we can, well, you guys decide, but I think if we can work with the school and we can meet everybody's needs, I think that's good. I guess the bottom line is is the money concern because if money's concern, we should be looking at that place first. Why don't I look? Yeah, why don't I, I, I let's we can we can talk about this forever, but 
Why don't I go back to the I'll call him tonight. I tried getting a hold of him. He wasn't there. Let me get the details from him, okay? And uh, make sure it's three days. I'm pretty sure it is. Once all space, I'm almost positive they do. And that uh, he's totally on board with the 5K and then whatever additional, which could be up to what, 2,500 or three grand. Let me make sure of that, okay? Because I didn't, all he knows is the five grand and I said it's gonna be, the other stuff's gonna be additional. I said it could be a couple thousand, he said fine. But I wanna hear from him. And do you wanna go back to Pentucket and see if they're interested in it or not? I think they're interested with the numbers that we gave them. I can extend it. I don't wanna get into a point where I extend it and they need to retract it. Yeah. I can talk to him and give him a verbal, here's what we're looking at, is this in your, is this within your wheelhouse? Without uh, making well, it you can be frank too. We just say we have somebody who potentially will lease the space for, you know, phone now. And our uh, okay. And so you're kind of unfortunately we have have We're to look at no num numbers. And, and that tell them that you'd be interested. You'd be willing to make it to you know, to reach out to Triton to see if they could use their field on that weekend. I don't know what don't this, we, what the athletics are using, but we could just we could be the connection. We don't have to do anything, but we could just give them the name. And I can ask Brian. I have to go to a district communication committee meeting uh, with the school at Triton. It's we're in the three towns meet next next week, next Thursday night. I can ask. Then. Well, I, I think it would be best to go right to uh, the a, uh, AD and find out from him what his thoughts are. And go up the chain. I'll try and talk to Sean because I want to talk to him about concessions. Okay, I'll talk to you more about that uh, uh, later. So I will, I will revive, I will um, report back as a property report back on email by tomorrow. So you're going no. to, you're you can going report to back. We just can't discuss yes. it. That for uh, deliberation. But you can, you can write what your okay. I'll write, was I'll write what, what, what I what I what I get in the details just, yeah. and what. And then uh, you should probably think about making another meeting in the next two weeks. We do. Oh, you have one in the first right. week in, in in February, and voting on it then because you got to get these yeah. people an answer. Yeah, that was, that's what they want. They want an answer so they can start planning. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Is that too late for them? The first week of February. I I. I can't believe it is, okay. but I, if it is, I'll let everybody February know. February 6th is our next meeting, so that's... Yeah. It's two today. weeks from Tuesday, right? Yep. Is that fair enough? No, it's... it's that sounds, that sounds one, two... I mean, Monday, you know, it's been lacrosse for years now. I understand that, and it's... I know a lot of kids who love that tournament. It is. But it's just, what, you know, as a rec meeting, what should it be our priorities? Well, if we can, you know. if we can get them still have both, I think it's good. Well, it comes down, barring some unforeseen changes, the, the, the question we'd have to ask is, do we keep tradition at a reduced rate? Do we go for financial more stability with a known vendor, user? Or do we go with a local team hosting the event? But the local team is going to be at or below the cost of the uh, Pentucket, which is the historical. So here's you kind of my. Know if, if, excuse me. You don't even know if Triton wants it. Triton wants it, but they are in the process of trying to figure out how much they can afford and how much how they. Even if Pentucket has their own thing over at yeah. Life Safe, they still want it. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. So I think when you look at the bigger picture, we we have some kind of budget which we don't really know what it is, and. At some point, if you reduce fees on some of these major events, it's going to take a hit on the user fees during the seasons. I mean, we can't keep reducing. Things get more expensive. Things don't get cheaper. So, I, I mean, I think in the future we need to think about certain blackout dates and, and when where we can, you know, certainly make make yeah. up for being able to give these youth teams the fields during their season at a reduced, I mean, because that was one of the things we were talking about was raising fees. Now we're not doing it for this year, but, you know, at right. some point we have yeah. to, the numbers need yeah, to match. Yeah, so we'll be going backwards. Yeah. 
Thank you. Yeah. Haven't seen a, um, a not yet a budget from your with your account. Not yet. That, right. uh, Tracy's working on that. Okay. That, that, when that is ready, it will be presented to us, and we'll be able to work backwards about how much our fees are, what our expenses are. Good. Uh, part of the complication is when the town took it in. It's a it's a different way of accounting, mm -hmm. as opposed to money comes into a rec, money comes out of a rec, then mm -hmm. it comes into the town, goes out for some, comes out differently, mm -hmm. but the same work is. Okay, so she's gonna she's working on that. Yes. Okay. Shall we move on then? Shall we move okay. on? Mm -hmm. Yes. With that, and I will. So I will do we have action items on that one? Yeah, gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna advise by tomorrow email exactly what their stance is. Um, Soccer folks. And, and are we going to do anything with lacrosse or are we going to wait until we get I will talk to Tom and just say, here's what's going on. Uh, I can give him the number that we have voted on before. And say, yeah, I think, I think it's okay to, to be, you know, let say, look, this is what we were thinking, but then this came up. We have another number. And if, they're, if they end up not coming to fruition, does that number even work for you? Because that we don't even know if that number even works. Yeah, we may find, you know, as, as we figure out how to open the place up in the summer, we have competition for certain. I mean, it's going to happen, right? That's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. right. That's what we want. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good thing if you get to feel. It's a bad thing if you don't well, get to yeah. feel. Well, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but Memorial Day is that weekend. That's a big weekend. That's a big weekend. We were talking about the blackout day today. Yeah. You know, we want to get to the next thing. Yeah. But... That's the weekend most of the town leagues and have blacked out, and that's when a lot of the club teams will have their events. Right. You know, I looked at a number of different uh, soccer and lacrosse places. That's that's it. And then the summer, that's when the club teams have their activities. Yep. Sorry, one more thing. Whatever happened to the youth lacrosse tournament that happened? Um, was it at Devons? Yes. Is it still going on? Yes. They, well, there are two. There are one for the um, Mass Bay Girls Lacrosse League and, and the Mass Lake Lacrosse League with the boys. Uh, it's at that. It's at, at one point, uh, Triton hosted the girls. Parking in the fields was probably prob part of the problem. You usually go out in a three year uh, bidding process so that people get used to where they're going. Chel it's at Chelmsford now. Uh, because that's not Memorial Day weekend. That's no, the that's the end of the season, and that's something we could start applying for. They typically want the host town, uh, Triton East Cross, to be a co-sponsor of it. So oh, well, we'd be, if you go back to Triton East Cross and talk to them about... Well, I, I would, I, I will talk to, and I've been in communication with uh, Christine, who is head of the Mass Bay Girls. Okay. Uh, it's a little harder because Chelmsford is a little bit more centrally located for the Eastern Mass yep. than here, but it's a good venue. They have a big venue, but it's very sparse. I don't know if people see their campus. High school and middle school are really far yeah, apart. They're... And if you get a schedule where you're, you can be three quarters to a mile away between games. So you, you'll pay your 40 minutes, you have 40 minutes off, and you've got to transfer yourself all the way down there. But that's something that we, as a rec committee, could be proposing um, for end of season for different leagues and so we we'll need to get first. Okay. Can I ask one stupid question? I'm gonna, I'll, I'll make it short. It's not is, stupid, you're new. Is there a uh, access way from the high school to the, um, the, the, field? the fields right now? I'm told there is. Yeah, there is. It's there been, is. It, they uh, mow it regularly and there's a small creek or brook depending on what you consider the size. Yep waterway yep. that is uh, there's a steel road plate you use to uh, traverse water. it okay cross country team uses it for their okay so you, in theory people can park at the uh, high school and then walk it's a yeah. long walk though okay yeah. right. well if you're at the, if you're playing in that back field it's not that bad okay it's wanna... if you're at the turf field and you have to walk it you know i've been to some of these tour i've been tournamenting for years with the girls mm -hmm. There's long walks okay. everywhere. Okay. Well, that's, good. that's not out of the norm. So that's okay. good as far as people to park and then walk if that was, if that was if there wasn't something you were. Right. Yeah. I'll, I'll try and have a meeting with Sean next week. I'll just talk to him about a bunch of different stuff. I had a pretty good rapport with him. Good. The kids were in high school. Okay. okay. 
We had a. Uh, did you guys? We had some visitors last meeting. I wasn't there because I was sick. Yes, missed it. Last two meetings they were there. So do we? Do we agree with them or not? On a what probationary we, period, we did. Did you really? Okay. They, um, it's a it's a new kind of home. They've taken over management. They've taken over it. Yeah. Uh, we kind of felt a little bit. Um, we explained to them why we did not accept their application, um, not getting off the fields in time, use of alcohol. Um, what was the third thing? Has anybody talked to trade use soccer? No. Okay. Well, I'll tell you, I mean, well, let me tell you, it's going to be an issue because they pay for issue? they pay for the Chinese soccer pays for the goals, they pay for the nets, and they pay for all that lining, and these guys have never contributed anything. Oh, well, we and can ask them to sacrifice. Well, it's not even a question of if. It's, you know, that's all that I tr tried to tell you. That's how this whole thing started when Warren was doing it. Was. Um, Nobody asked try to do so those are their soccer that's how they were you know, those were originally okay. always have been their soccer fields. Nobody asked them if it was okay to share. They're already sharing with these other guys, right, who were new at the time. Or sure. And just because they're gonna spend five hundred bucks. They're like, so, What's going on? So So the, why not otherwise on lacrosse or or football give them their fields to play? I know that's what they're gonna say. Why so, not? and then they're gonna have to get their own nets, gonna have to do their own lining. I tell you, trade new soccer is not so let me get this. It's approachable. We can go back to them and talk to them. I mean, they're not. Yeah, they're, they're, they I, are. I have we didn't a question, know. Though. We had no idea. Yeah, I know. I have I, a question. I, so, so when these, when the was it the same? Well, let me just add. Was this the same guy still looking for the money? No. No. no this, this is different. This is Keith. And, and they're, they're the Newbury residents. Two Newbury residents. Which was another reason the why. The Newbury residents. Yeah. Oh, the Newbury residents. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Keith. Keith. Stromsky's yeah, yeah, uh, brother, yeah. Kevin. Uh, help volunteer with, with putting up their building, but more importantly, their, their residents they seem to have more at stake. So maybe they can meet with try new soccer. And, right. Yeah. So, but and, here's my question to you: uh, Is when in the past, because yeah. I don't know any of the history, in the past when they when when these older groups would come in, they would actually use the equipment that belonged to try new soccer. We have and to if you want to play. So what does the team have to use? They they use it, but they bought goals for them. They split the lining costs with them. They have their own relationships, so, and they pay, they get okay. they get they get okay. they they share. They get professional coaching. Yeah. Right. Yeah. For some of this, it's some a of it they pay. Yeah. Okay. I, there's one, I hate the cliche win win win. Right. Right. But it was somebody. But with the older guys, there's there's nothing. They were just coming in, using it for mm -hmm. very little money. You know, the town wasn't really getting much. Trey New Sire was in there, was having to share the fields more, so they're really. Upset with so, that. And that's the thing that we have no idea who owned the goals, who owns what. Oh, yeah, it's trade new soccer. So yeah, they're the ones. So the, other, the other part that we talked about during that time was the fact that it was more than likely the time they wanted it, it was empty, correct? Yeah, well, they had been scheduled. The, the previous schedule had them at 8.30 in the morning. The, the, the uh, Sunday or Sunday. Sunday. How many, and how many teams? I mean, one, how many leagues? One. One. What, six right. games? Right. I know, it does seem like a lot. Just keep in mind, like I said, my in the spring, all the kids U15 to U18, they play too, because there's no high school, right? And But they weren't on last year's schedule, so. Who was it? Where I put these guys in was not, was where they were last year. Yeah, yeah well, it was still Sunday morning, right? I mean, it's, but did anybody else use it on Sunday morning? Yeah, we had three men to leave using it then. Okay. We were just giving it to the one. Train youth soccer. We're going in with big, big steps. Well, I, I think they, they need to have a meeting with Trey because okay. yeah. that's yeah. going to be a... We need to have a meeting with them. Yeah, I think yeah. All, we, they, it, that meeting should take place here. Jen, how much does uh, goals cost? I think that's a couple of grand. The big ones? What would be required to use on a field like that? The, I think for a pair of steel, the steel goals, powder coated, I think they're like six grand a, a pair. And then the nets, the nets, I think, what have I paid for those? Like 800 to 1200 a pop. So the, those, this is the big. Those are those are not owned by the town. Those no, no, no. Soccer has paid for those. Uh, North Shore United bought the little goals because they need to be updated. And I think they bought the nets last time they need to be updated. So they hit them up. They hit them up for money. Um, and then the line, you know, lining is six grand a, a season. 
that's not cheap. And I know they're trying to get uh, a lesser, some you do it for less, but I did it for three years and I said, oh my God, I'll never do it again. Yeah. I, and, and actually, I personally said I wouldn't do it for anything less because you got to set it up in the season. Right. you got to do it with the weather. you got to take all the nets down. The, and believe me, it's a lot of work. Well, you know, know what? Maybe we, they can subsidize this other adult. They're going to, if they want to get out there, I know they're going to hit them up. Otherwise, it's going to say you're not using our equipment. Go use the other fields. And then I don't know what the, then you can't play because you're not the, you know what I mean? Okay. So, I'm just saying, guys, that's, you just can't agree because they're already sharing their fields. You gotta, well, they came twice. They came to one I, meeting and they presented and they came to a second meeting. The fact that if they're, better, if they're mostly, listen, them. if they're mostly town residents, that's great. you you got to open it up. But they got to understand that, you know, there's, there's, there's additional fees that yeah. need to be incurred, incurred, incurred because right. of the equipment that's being used. Here, I guess one of the questions is the level of for general soccer I mean do we need to have that expensive of goals do they need to be at that quality because I, when I look at lacrosse well, we, have we the don't question, buy them though that doesn't matter I, that, that's much. not the question okay my question is yeah. what is what can we what can be utilized and again the question goes back to with lacrosse where they can go from a hundred bucks to a thousand bucks what what can we get away with? Follow my question. Cross goals are tiny though. I, I I'm not talking. So eighteen about the, feet across. You got to have the steel. I, I understand that, but what would it cost? Because here's where I'm going. Well, well, what cost? Uh, a, a goal. If we were to get goals, because I think it might. Oh, for be, us. For us. You want to take that on? That's the record. Really? Without having, do you have the catalog there? Yeah, you. actually, it's right there. Let's look them up. Quick goals. Because you know, those you, are the best. Don't have to be. Official round, official square. Club sock bowls, 2,500. Yeah. A couple things at PVC. You can make them. No, Cause see. Cause here's where I'm going. Have some kids okay. behind there. No, they need the to be high quality. Here's what I'm looking at. Sure, go ahead. Okay. It is my understanding, I will not confirm, that the property located on Hanover Street, where the where the Newberry Elementary School is, is a, there's a deed to the town of Newberry, unlike the deed that the Triton High School and Middle School are on. That deed is to Triton Regional School District. Right. Okay. That's correct. So the question becomes: the property is in the name of the town of Newberry. Mm -hmm. Barring any memorandum of understanding or other agreement written, mm -hmm. we should have the ability to help utilize the fields behind Newberry Elementary. Not during the day, not during school time, but during the summertime. Oh, there are softball fields. There are two softball fields, yes. That doesn't take up the whole area. Yeah, yeah, we went the wild now. Yeah. But the question is, is there space between the two fields yeah. or at an angle to put in a regulation size multi-purpose multi field or a soccer field? And the idea is, if we were to, if we could do that, I haven't done the measurements, I can't get back there, I had to look kind of silly during school hours to go back there when it's late, um, to put in some type of soccer facility so we can host the old, it's not as good a field, we wouldn't charge them as much, but have all of our adult soccer leagues in one spot. Oh. That's how we're going to look at the oh, cost. Oh, gotcha. And, or do we find there's other areas in and if You would put a full regulation field in Raleigh, and how, then you have to get the goals. How about Kent? But, but, but Kent, Kent Way? Is but it then it's at our jurisdiction. Research oh, that. Right, it's Raleigh, yeah. We have property on Kent Way. Yeah, that was Mrs. Pearson. Ann Pearson has done that land to the town. So what, so what is, is this then a Newberry or it's usually it's, it's, it's a Newbury managed men's They soccer. took over. It's 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 the the thirty year olds that were you had the thirty, the forty, and something else. The oh, so it's the same thirties, but it's thirties. Yeah, they've take, and they yeah. they're taking over as coaching and yeah. running the league and managing the league, and they came to a field 
um, you know, wanted to know what they, you know, why was it not accepted, and I went back for the notes. Uh, maintenance, timeliness of the games and drinking, and we motioned to accept their application with the hope of discussing it at January 9th meeting, when, if everybody was here. And then they came again, and we just didn't have a reason to say no, because we didn't know, but we gave them a probation, and this is a trial period, you know, if anything is on our agreement is messed up, then that's it, you're done. And they're okay with that, including telling the other teams they can't drink, they need to get off the fields, and so on and so forth. So I had no idea about the uh, equipment. So. It, well, they, they can uh, they can meet and trade new soccer. Uh, the new, there's a new guy taking over. Um, what's his name? Uh, Jason. I think it's Jason. I have it written down. I don't have it on me, but um, uh, I'll uh, yeah, send out a... Yeah, reach out to these people and, and put them in touch with this guy, whatever they say, and tell them that they're going to have to figure out what well, they're going to do about the soccer. What I should uh, be, being the beginning of the year now, I need to reach out. I'll, re I'll reach out, Mark, to the sports groups and just ask for, you know, are the contacts the same or they've changed? Yeah. yeah. Have you done that? Because I'm happy to do it. Um, and that'd be great if you could do it. Yeah. Trent, it's going to be the same. Yeah. Okay. Do we want to reach out to, um, I know it's probably not in your agenda, but Tom Hanson, do we want to reach out again to the baseball people? See if they want not to join right that now. Committee? Okay. Um, not we right really, now. you know, the base, here's the thing with baseball, Alicia. Really and a lot of kids play baseball. And we should, you know, love to bring that under the umbrella, but I'm just, they need their own fields. They gotta right. have baseball fields. They have you know, their own, right. well, they if have you throw a base, play. where? Where they, they play now. I'm just looking to oh, the yeah. committee. Yeah, but um, they voice on their own thing. I think they, they've got to want to be part of this. Well, is it um, reach out as an olive branch? Why don't you come join? That's very nice. <laughs> Yeah. That's, that's we could Is ask. that the contact for, for uh, soccer chasers? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. You know? No, I don't. I've only Jason. spoken to him a couple times. What's his last name? Uh, the Rochers. Yeah, he's probably. Wow, these soccer goals are expensive. Yes. Huh? D-S-R-O-C-H-E-R-S. Yeah, you know, down to the weather. E R S. Let me see uh, the line you said. Lacrosse. Well, the lining is done by Scott Dewey, okay? okay. and he invested in some equipment, as he said he wanted to do this years ago. And I was trying to find kids to do it after I did it for a bunch of, and I, you know, was going to do it. And, and I said, if you want to do it, that's great. And he's been doing it ever since. Uh, there's other people that do it. Um, if these guys offered, well, we don't. I mean, that's something I don't think as a group we want to take that on. I think that's best left to let them. the sports groups. Yeah, absolutely. You let them handle it. I, I don't think we want to. Did I tell them that one? Because we're, we're renting the field. The field. We're not the renting lines. Because they're multi purpose fields. Right. Yeah. Depending yeah. on what the sport they want to play, let them play. Yeah, but, yeah. Our, our job, I think, is right. to direct James to do the cutting. Yeah. In a timely fashion, so they have time to reline the fields before the game. So they kind of. And Friday. he's done a great job with that. Yeah. And Scott will come in on a Saturday, a Friday night, or whatever. So do you will come up with that application from the thirty-year-old soccer. Yes. And will do you want me to contact them, or do you want? To I, I'll, I'll talk to Kevin. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mark. Talk about money with them? Uh, yeah, it was basically the contracted amount, right? The contract. Basically, it was boiling down at three games. They're doing, they yeah. have six. Six games. Yeah, oh, that means a total of 12, 12 games. 12 games, six games. Season, yeah. Assuming that they don't make playoffs, but they have. Did you talk about charging them a certain amount? It wasn't yet. We charged, we. I think we're sticking with the same amount only because we have decided in general that we hadn't had time to review the budget and the fee schedule and we wanted to make... So what's that, like hundred bucks again? Yeah. We wanted to make amends to all the people that, you know, reach out as a new committee to everybody and we weren't in a position to raise fees this year. Wait, did you tell them that next year it's probably going to go up? 
they're yeah, on probation. I mean, that, 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 that's, that's premature that's right now. Okay. That's, Right now, we, we need to get. They are on double secret probation. <laughs> we we need to just get through this first round of understanding the application and scheduling process, and then we can start taking another issue. The other thing that's a little hard. I mean, one that we don't know who the normal players are. I had totally forgotten about spring soccer. To tell you the honest truth, I had thought about. I knew GPS was there, but I forgot Triton Youth Soccer has a spring. Spring and fall. Oh, yeah. Soccer I, spring and fall. Because I'm not a soccer person, so I, I know, forgot. I'm telling you. So do they That's the beauty of it. You uh, yeah. get two be yeah. right. Get, right, and then lacrosse. So, frankly, I'd forgotten about And they're all great, but with soccer, you get paid twice, you know. So do we? It's do they great. already have the, the fields? Do they already? Yeah. Well, we, none of, nobody has that. So I asked Caitlin, you know, have you heard from lacrosse? Have you heard from anybody about field usage? And I think there needs to be some kind of deadline on that fee schedule. Because here we are, February and or not well, mid January, and we haven't heard from Triton Youth Lacrosse, who, at, who had been approached by somebody else to maybe go somewhere else. You know, so we well, kind of need go. to know yeah. these things in a timely manner. Well, they're go. No, they're just coming. They're coming to us, so that's okay. But if you had believe in our policy protocol book, it does say mid January, February. So this is the norm. Okay. Maybe we just need to add that to the. Well, well some of it is we, we need to discuss what it is. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, what are you looking for? Just the fact they're coming back, or? Yeah. But not yeah. payment, right? Because payment. No, is not right. payment. I mean, we just need to know that they're intending to a come back. Because if somebody all of a sudden changes their mind that they're not coming back, then we where have gonna, the opportunity. Well, where are you going to go? If you if you're if you're a trade sports, where are you going to go? Where are you going to well, play? You know, Maybe the high school. Okay, I guess that's a possibility. I can just tell you from the sports leagues and dealing with them, their attitude is, you don't come back. I mean, okay. You know, okay. It's just. Well, this is all new to us. And if they didn't come back, it would be very surprising. As it, the question is, I think, is Trey uh, uh Pop Warner coming back? So, they only had one team this year. They only had one team. And we, and we know why. You found out, right? Right. Yeah. It's the flag football, right? No, no because they, um, the half the, the team league. switched to a different league. Ipswich, exactly. which, oh, is, which, that's which right. is so much better instead of going to where it was Boston or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which we is support huge. Cape Ann local league yeah. versus Pop Warner, which competes against Everett, South Boston. Yeah. So if that, here's is the thing. Is it American Youth Football? Pop Warner. What are they playing here? Was it American Youth Football? Pop Warner here. Okay, Pop Warner. but where did they go there? It looks like a Cape Ann League or something. There's no weight limits with Cape Ann League. It's a little okay. different. Cape Ann League, my understanding is there's no weight limits. Pop one is always. I think you plays in something called um, American Youth Football. Yeah, I think that's what it's like. That's um, they just went to the to the Mass Elite. He was in the Mass Elite team. They just he just got back from Naples, Florida. They made they made number four. Wow. In the country. Wow. Yes. Um, yeah. She's good. She's good. Because if the if the if the pop water doesn't come back, then um, in the fall, then we're going to be talking about what to do with that space, right? Yes. Um, I'm not worried about filling in some of the spaces. I'm not either. Because uh, I know that soccer would absorb it, or 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 we create another use for it. I mean, it's that always money driven, it's access for different sports. Oh, you, oh yeah, no, I agree. It's just while we're trying to get our bearings. Right. <laughs> no, I just don't want to drink it from the fire hose, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, what I'd like to suggest then is for the men's league, I'd like to get the contacts and I'd like to put them in touch with both. You're going to do that, right? Triton Youth, the soccer, and with. GPS? You know, yeah, just so they can have a meeting all together. And they can figure out how this is going to work, and there's going to be have to uh, these guys immensely going to have to understand that whatever they're paying us, they're probably going to have to pay more to want to to try new soccer. There's going to have to be something done for them. They, there's got to be there's got to be some sort of benefit for them. Otherwise, try new soccer. Say why why are we doing this? Why are we somebody I mean, else? They, they seem like they're open to dialogue. I mean, they were they were going to benefit. And we had to get them before they start their own fees. Yeah. But, and so, I will talk to Mr. Who's Stromsky. Who's talking? I will talk, okay. I will talk to Stromsky, let him give him a heads up on everything. Okay. 
and, and we can set a meeting up between if you can contact uh, Triton Soccer and, and uh, Do you think that needs to be a public meeting or post it? I don't think so. No. I think you no. guys, two of you two can do it. Yes. Yeah. Um, going back to your question regarding the timeline, according to the policy book, application for spring season opens in January. Applications are due by February 15th and permits are issued by March 15th. Do we have, when do we, when do we, we should tighten that up. Like when did we, what, did we get them last year on time? I, I seriously doubt it. We don't uh, know. We don't know. <laughs> I know we were chasing, we were, when we, we took it in June, we would, oh, that, that was for the fall. We were chasing for, money for then. Just for fall. Just for yeah. fall. All right. It's been my experience, I think, guys, that we typically, you know, get the paperwork. I can remember doing this. I can remember going out and asking all the leagues, where's your paperwork? Where's your payment? You know, chasing it down. So. Hurting, hurting cats. Yeah. I don't think that's unusual either, though. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else? And then there was a sign. Okay. And then you had good news. Thank God somebody's got good news. Right? Um, it's all good news, Joe. I'm working Sorry. with uh, an individual who's representing the Boston Ultimate Disc Association, Buddha. Um, first, Buddha is its record of Boston uh, uh, Ultimate Disc. Buddha, yeah. yeah. Um, this is freestyle, first thing. Yeah. yeah. And they would like to host a couple day tournament for teams from New England, New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine, what? Western Mass, this summer in awesome. June. I don't know if you want to keep the same price schedule. Uh, Can I just mention one thing? Uh, I know in June um, they run um, the Byfield Arts, right? Well, hold on. In early June, the track youth soccer is still going on. Um, the club soccer stopped. Memorial Day is that's it. That's their tournament, so it stops before Memorial Day. Um, but they have tryouts in June for the club at those fields sometime in June. So uh, we need to get the this, dates because they would take up the whole space, I'm sure. Right? This is pretty important for all of June. Yeah, but it's year. written like that, but it's not. Trust me, the uh, Triton New Soccer ends like the, I think the first weekend in June. They're done. And then they have a tryout. This is July. And the July. last time they did it, they did, I think, last two tries they did it in Pine Grove. Your group is in July? Yes. Oh, Buddha. which July is my problem. Yeah. Uh, we'd love to do one July or two ultimate we'd this to be, okay. this July. Try to, yeah. How much would that be? Uh, we're revamping the costs and such. They know about that. Before our lead teams are representing Boston, we'll invite Vermont, Western Mass, New Hampshire, Maine, etc., to come compete before our youth nationals in August. Um, I think we're. In my mental model, summer right now, we're trying to not overuse it so we can feel to get some rest. Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, gonna be that yeah and it's usually that with cleats and people yeah. just running around. Yeah. Um, I would like to attract them. I don't know how sure. much our base fee is. I know that during Memorial Day weekend, we know there's a demand for it. Yeah. Right now, we have. Our, our shoulder season based on. Well, that's a really good point. How to price things in the summer? Right? Summer. Well, just my field arts is paying a thousand dollars a day, right? How much are they paying? I it's think it's a thousand dollars a day, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just one day, right? It's a one day event. Uh, it's one one day. Day. Well, one day. Well, well, they have set up in breakdown too. So. But oh, okay. see, that's that's what I try that's to convey to people is most of the places you set you you don't pay for the day you set up and the day you break down. You pay for the day that you use it. And with Byfield, it's they put down three days. Because when I talked to Heidi, it's like, well, we're there early setting stuff up, and we, will. but it's that one day that they're using it because we could still book stuff away from it so they could set up. And that's but on a Saturday, so they take it Friday, Saturday. The Friday Saturday. afternoon, uh, the band, the stage starts going up. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, what do they want? A one day tournament or a two day tournament? One, one to two day, depending on our schedule, what we want, and well, cost. The 4th of July weekend? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how much these... I think it should be equivalent to what we're doing at the Byfield 
community arts act. We have to have consistency. We can't just be pulling numbers out. Well, is this the first time we do it? The first time. I mean, originally with Byfield uh, Arts Day, the original agreement was, I believe, a dollar for every, they would submit one dollar for every ten dollar ticket. Yeah, so right. it was, but again, you know, it's Byfield. Right. It's a town event. What is? Byfield Arts oh. Community Arts. Oh. It's, it's I mean, if that's what we... It's named Byfield, but is it Byfield? Do we, do we get anything from that as far as the town? It's it, it's the Byfield Community Arts Center that's run, which is a nonprofit yeah. that manages the yeah. town building. Yeah. That's what they are. Mm -hmm. It's not. Um, how can I say it? Because we really don't we don't have that entity like in Cambridge, where it's the Cambridge Youth Center, which is a Cambridge entity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, is it a local? Yes. Is it a Newberry? And um, is it a local agency? Yes. It's not, but I know it's not the town. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah, leave it at that. Leave it at that, Mark. Yep. So, so, do you want me to go forth and say, yeah, $1,000 and. Throw me some dates. I throw it out there and see how it flies. Now, is it the same deal with the Frisbee? Do we have to have fire and police there? They do. How many oh, people this they have? Okay, and so then it probably just one of those things you say $1,000 plus if there's has to be. Yeah, that's their, that's, that's their deal. See, I just yeah. don't know. I, I know with some of these other tournaments, like, they may charge $800 a team. I don't know what the price structure is. Yeah. For all yeah, I have no idea. I know it's really popular. I know it's a collegiate sport now. Yeah. Yeah. How much the tournament is? How much it costs for a team? It's got to be time. tournaments. Yeah. 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 I, mean, I do a little research. Okay. Uh, so I do I draw some numbers at her like the thousand dollars and well whatever's on the fee schedule which I don't have in front of me it's on the fee schedule what it's pretty consistent I I, I don't have it because I'm the, supposed to be revamping it, it, is it the, the fee schedule application goes a number of it's, it's fifty dollars a person for out of town people so as opposed to uh, thirty five for in town. And then there were special events, was the third thing. There's. Cheers. I think on the website. It is on the website. Special event, oh, it doesn't give a price. So there is a special event. This is considered a special event. Yes. And some of it, my understanding was, depends on the, the factors. And again, uh, no, I was casting concrete because uh, Circus Mercus, who had it for set up on, they arrived on Thursday night. They set up, performed Friday, Saturday and broke down on Saturday night and left on Sunday. They also paid a thousand dollars for the two nights. For two nights or one night? Two days of performing. One night to set excluding the night to set up. They pull in Thursday night. The kids go downtown, they start to set up. Friday show, afternoon, Friday show at night, Friday. When they paid a thousand. Well what is their setup? What do they do? They put a bunch of uh, movable baskets around? And create a course, or is it it's a field? not. It's not golf disc. It's ultimate where you throw the, your. Yeah, it's like a football field. Yeah. yeah. So do we need lines. Do they line it? That they that's the it. information. A lot of places. You sure, will they just, don't wear cleats. They am I positive? No. Yeah. I know my high school uh, girls' high school team. They don't wear. They just wear sneakers. It's. It's an activity that doesn't. It's a sporting event that attracts a greater array of athletic abilities. Mm -hmm. You're going to let them know that they're going to have to require to get a couple of portable bodies. Again, that, that's sort of the yeah. details to be worked out. The bigger question is... Where's uh, the fee schedule? You found it on here? Right here. Well, then if you want to do 500 a day, that's fine. 
person who's free. So there's no there's no dollar amount on the special yeah. event. Yeah. Oh, okay. We need to come up with some kind of consistency there. Agreed. Uh, agreed. Which is not consistent with Memorial Day because that's a pretty good weekend. That's a pretty good weekend. Yeah. And you can really fill the fields on that weekend. Who knows if this is the first time? You know, what we've done in the past as a right committee is we made it really easy to come for the first few times. We made it really inexpensive. And then if it's stuck, then we yeah. give them a proper, what we thought was a proper price. So you know, whether that was a thousand bucks a day or whatever. The language used in the minutes was Circus Versus gave a thousand dollar donation. So they may not have been a fee, it was a donation, which may sound like semantics, but it was they weren't charged. Okay, so if everybody's comfortable, can we vote on asking them, allowing them to come in at five hundred dollars uh, a day to, to, for two days plus expenses, fire, police, port potty, etc. And give us some dates. Yeah, because this will be the first kind of summer so, event we have going so, on. Summer event. Go See how it works. Yeah, if, it, if it sticks, then. I second on. Who motions? Uh, I, you motion, he second. Well, I make a motion that we uh, go forth with the Boston Ultimate Disc Association, uh, assisting them with an application to. I'll make it simpler. <laughs> <laughs> I make a motion that we pursue. Motion to approach B. Buddha yeah. to host a tournament in July at five hundred dollars a day plus police and fire for two days. And, uh, associated expenses if they need to have a fields line, yeah. porta potties. No, I come back. The next day, and I write these. That's all additional. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And John seconded. Yeah. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Anybody opposed? Um, any abstentions? Passes unanimously. All right, two more things, if I may. Yeah. Uh, we've, Sleeve and I are working with a graphic professional about the layout design of it. Here's some signage. Sorry. Signage. Is it Tracy's Tracy's uh, Yes. Yeah. Uh, trying to move that along. Uh, there's just a couple of small things I needed in terms of a registration, uh, excuse me, trademark of the signs. Looking at it, she's going to give us a mock up so we can show everybody oh, that's and, good and, and get a, an approval. Are you trying to put logos in there too? We're trying to put their logos in. The hard part is. They'll fit. They'll fit. We just, I'm not a professional, Tracy is, and it's like this will not look good on the road. She's going to make it look good. That, uh, it's really good. Approximately really how big is. Yeah, um, the size group, I mean, the general idea is it's going to be nine feet tall with a banner saying banter field or whatever field we're going to be using. Todd and Newberry with the logo in the circular top, and then each team tentatively has a banner that's about six to eight inches wide, about four feet long, with their names and color on it. Okay. Uh, ideally, and I bet it's not the best spot, but it might be the easiest to use. Is where the current sign is. It gives rules and regulations into the middle of the field that faces the highway. So if you're coming from 95 down Central Street, you'll see, oh, Central Street fields, I'm here. It doesn't do much good if you're coming the other way, but then it will be able to some of those signs. It's just useful. Like, Where's that sign? There's a sign just in, if, on Central Street. If you're coming up Banter, if you uh, follow the drive, it's almost straight ahead of, ahead of it. Are there two signs there? I thought I saw there's two signs, two large signs. They say the same thing. Yeah, there's one as you enter. Yep. I've been working with James about moving the because when you pull in, you really don't see the sign. Yep. And you don't want people to read that sign because you're pulling in. Yeah. <laughs> moving the signs, that sign and the one that gives a field map mm -hmm. down closer to the field house. Yeah, right. Yeah. So that way, and so the assumption is that someday that field house will be used. You'll have a, a couple of sides in which it will give you the rules and regulations and a map of where the fields are, where the uh, cross-country stuff is, where this is, where that is, golf, mini golf disc and all that. Um, and take the side that's uh, the map side out so it's easy for them to know. 
they take the, back, the posts that are currently being used and just take that sign down so we're not adding another sign, which is simplifying it. That's good. Does that work? Okay. I'm working with James about the whole layout of where the dumpster might go, then putting the pad down um, based on basketball court information and all that. So there's a, mm -hmm. a look to the place. That's great. I'm planning everything ahead. That's fantastic. Um, Anything you think about it, maybe a sprinkler? Uh, well, as soon as I get the mock up, I'll send it out to people for. Do you just have to go in front of the town? I'll have to go behind the town. What yeah. do we do? Yeah. Well, the one's not there. Yeah. You don't expect any problem with that, do you? Not at all. Particularly, particularly, we were using the same uh, footprint as before. We're just Hopefully. making it cleaner, neater, and nicer. Hopefully, by the next meeting, people will have already seen a, a drawing. Great. And then we can approve it, move it. That's great. Get yeah. it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. what else? I had something I wanted to add up against. So you go next. Okay. The other one is the disc golf. There is uh, professionally made 30. I don't know how much money. Midbody playing disc golf. He would like to, and I've invited him uh, to take a look at our course to maybe redesign it so that our fields are, are not, our playing fields are still playable while people are using the disc golf and they might be able to assist with putting the tournament on concurrently. I've talked to Heidi Fram about this during the Byfield Arts Festival. Even if it's not a money maker, it just brings people into their event and people are using the disc golf course. Can I just make, so I know the Eagle Scout that did the disc yeah. golf, it would be nice if he was at least invited to talk with, I mean, this is his project, whether or not it was placed correctly or okay. not, it would be nice to at least let yeah. him know that yeah. people are going to move his... Keegan. Yeah. Yeah. His keys. Yeah, I mean... Well, I, Keegan was told, I think, to... I think Warren told him, you better put these out of the way. This is what happened. Yeah, but, um, well, he was... Yeah, so he put them around the outside yeah, of the field. The so it would be outside. nice just to... I mean, I can reach out is to... Is Keegan Walls? Yeah. Um, Do you think he'd want to be part of the discussion? I think he should be. Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't know if he'll want to be, but I mean, he's at yeah, college he right now, so he won't be back. Yeah, yeah. Know. Well, I mean, there's a way. Well, he comes to, back most weekends. So. Yeah. There's a way to approach everything does and forget this started. Now it's just better refining it. And well, that's good. When, when would that happen? That'd be the same day as at Michael Darts. Oh, right. You know, right. The idea is just we can have some things happening, use up the use up that whole facility. Oh, is by phone or something like so the email? Or? Yes. To, uh, I don't know, because I don't back on my... By the way, what you said about the costs, we charged for the setup and the take down. You did? Okay. Yeah, I put that in the email. Yeah. I think it was $1,000. That email we ever got. <laughs> no, I sent it to you guys. Did you like that? Yeah, from Heidi, yes. No, I sent it to... I copied you all of it. Or I forwarded it to you after the fact. Yeah. Did you not get it? I don't know. Maybe I didn't know. What was the email? It was uh, about the. Uh, you said that it was about the music. Idea. What I call the music weekend. No. I don't remember saying that. I don't remember seeing that. Yeah. It, it, so that's I can find and resend it, guys. Not a problem. Um. Is there anything else? Yes. Uh, that side. So. The good news. What's the good, the good news, John? Waiting. The disc golf bridge is on. Is that the good news? Well, that is good news. Just us being here is good news. No, I thought it was the Buddha was just. Bringing, that is good news. You know, based on our projections for the field. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's what I'm looking at. Based on the uh, field house plan, is attracting more stuff during the summer, mm -hmm. and this would demonstrate that we are in yes. fact meeting our goals. That is good news indeed. Yeah. Yep. Speaking, so, of, speaking of which, with the, uh, just want to update people. Uh, we did get a, a reply back from the architect designing firm that their, their estimate is still about $200,000. The capital, camp, capital committee, uh, I get a sense, would like to see a stripped down version and not worry about that. When they say concessions, they were looking more at the the small confined area in the front of the building. There's some walls, a sink, uh, 
don't know if people are familiar with it. And basically strip out the inside, and we can do that later, but let's get, get the plumbing in, the initial electrical work in, so then, and then we can add stuff later. That way, don't worry about the refrigerator or microwave or anything like that. I agree. I, it, that's such a nominal part of the whole cost of everything. It's a nominal cost, and we can, you know, with expertise that we, we have at the table, we can do some of that ourselves. Yeah, that's, and, and that's it's an the idea of we're not putting any any excessive work in. So I, my question that kind of dovetails on what my question was: so Where do we stand with that? Is it going to go on the ballot? On the, is it going to go on the warrant for the spring town meeting? We would meeting? like to. We have to get through capital, which uh, I will after this meeting. I'll let Marshall know that this is our agreement where we would like to go forward uh, as such. And he will talk to his committee, will be invited back for, and we're still open on their agenda. Mm -hmm. Once that gets okay, we, the idea. So what are they waiting for from us back? They want us, they want it pared down, right? They didn't want. They want to pair. What they're waiting for is information from Tracy. That's what we, I was waiting for too, mm -hmm. about a better breakdown of the numbers. Okay. What we got um, an email yesterday was basically, they're keeping it at $200,000. If you want greater detail, go hire a uh, estimator. Spend more money. Spend more money to get somebody to hire, which I understand it, but if we put something out to bid for up to $200,000 and we get X number of bidders, that by uh, uh, by its own factor would tell us what the value is. If so we I'll, can't put it out to bid until we get the funding, right? Correct. So do I need to meet with Mike and, and um, Patrick if that whole tearing down of the concession part isn't happening? Or we don't need to present anything to them on that? Do we? Mike and Patrick. We have the subcommittee form to go over concessions and oh, yeah, trucks yeah, and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah, I, yeah. So um, I'm assuming that we don't need to do that if we're paring down the whole concession. Well, this is what we're going on. Which, when I looked at the plan, has everybody seen that? The I, I knew what was needed in the building. I could get an idea on estimated cost. On. Yeah. We can make. We can get copies of all that stuff. So, this was the concession area, which is actually built out even more than I yeah. felt it needed to be. I was just going to do that corner. Corner, and then you can do some banquet tables. Yeah. Yeah, but they have a mop sink. They have a bunch. It's much bigger than. Yeah. We just want a sink. You would figure one a mop sink. sink would be in the bathroom, in a corner somewhere. Yeah. Or even just one sink over here. Yep. Yeah, I think you're right. Something can be done later on. Yeah. I mean, the, this is much more elaborate than even anything we were talking about. Yeah. And the price of whatever comes time for doing it, they could plummet underneath and cap it for future use. Yep. Yeah. So Assuming exactly. that's where we want everything, because there's a part of me that says, we do we need that kind of structure? We could make a kitchenette further away and just have, have that. The reason it's there is so that the window where we'd be dispensing the stuff. I think it's convenient to have everything near the window. Get your kitchenette. Yeah. That way, people here can use the kitchenette and people selling so it's a multi purpose. But that we can worry about that later. Yeah. So, do we. Did so, you work on this at all? Nothing. We totally need it. Guess what? You already know. <laughs> Handyman. Well, you use those words. GM. Gia. 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 To minimize construction costs by eliminating the build out of the interior concession area. Motion to revise request to Capital Planning Committee to reduce costs. To reduce. For for foregoing the build out of the concession area. David, I'm sending you those the email. Mm. 
which, frankly, always write long things at the bottom of my page. <laughs> okay, and that's Mark. Did I have a second? Uh, motion seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, uh, any oppose? Any abstentions? Passes unanimously. Because this doesn't stop people from selling concessions. Exactly. They just don't have a proper. Yeah. So if people want to bring in their own coolers. Uh, yeah. And do it that way. Yep. It's still it's a it's a moderate way that we can build up that area and figure out how we want to use it. I think again we never we're going to do we we're never going to do much more than electrical. Mm -hmm. Uh, a sink and a, and a fridge and a counter. Right. We never had any anticipation of doing anything which can be put in later. Yeah. Yeah. Is that it? 836 and all's well. Yep. Ask now of Reverend Holtby, please. We have a motion to adjourn. Are you all set, Mark? I'm looking at you. Uh, space build out lighting. Oh, uh, and to include in the part of that, so make sure we have a lightning rod. Uh, the, the current design doesn't, I don't see anything on it about uh, protection from lightning strikes. And that way, so the whole purpose of the building, right? Yeah. <coughs> um, that'd be part of the bid. Uh, that was the uh, okay. Because then we could use because the, the top part. Uh, apologize for telling this late, but uh, one of the concerns was at the meeting. I had said we could fit a hundred people in there, and there was a question about where you get the number. I've done all the calculations, but I can't make that calculation. And uh, the, the building inspector, they can only verify what it is. So we had to go wait for the architect who said this guy was right. <laughs> Plus, we have the basement, and if we have the porch, which is another 425 square feet, there is 40 something more people. So, what is it? 425 at 5 square feet per person would make it 80 something people. Uh, five percent. Uh, yeah. So, there's a lot more room out there. People are going to be in the rainstorm and get porch in. We sort of make sure it's protected. Uh, and it will not exceed. Uh, Two hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so we don't need to meet a subcommittee. You don't. I would say you don't need to. If people can't, great. Have that information for the bank. But, but I there's no agree. pressing. There's no pressing need for it. Because I have two of the three on board, but I. So if if I can't get, I don't want to do it if it's only two of the three. Okay. Could you re read back the motion? To revise request to Capital Planning Committee to reduce cost by foregoing or minimizing build out of concession area and addition of a lightning rod. Uh, and, the, and that to exceed $200,000. Can we take a re vote on that so that's all included? Okay, Mark. We okay, have a second to that motion. Mm -hmm. and all in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? <coughs> any abstentions? Okay. Make a motion to adjourn this meeting at this time. Second. At eight thirty-nine. All in favor. All in favor.